Good morning, everybody. Let me um, give you a helping hand today with a verse that uh, a lot of people struggle with. Actually, it's a subject, and um, it is about the giving of money in a local church, giving of money to ministers and men and women who are claiming to be ministers. And a lot of the time they're using outdated um, requirements and um, commands in order to feather their own nest. Um, Paul the Apostle said uh, to the Corinthians that they uh, peddle the word of God. They're making, them, making themselves nice and fat and rich out of the word of God. I wouldn't like to be them when the judgment day comes. But anyway, let me read a verse to you. Two verses actually in the writings of Second Corinthians 9, the verses 6. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Now there's the New Testament giving. A lot, a, a lot of church leaders uh, bind the people up with this tithing, 10% of your um, earnings that you get each week, 10%, and it doesn't work like that. That's Old Testament. It, it's in the writings of Malachi, the prophet, and it was required of the Pharisees because they were under the law in the writings of Matthew. But it's not written in the uh, letters uh, in the, for the New Testament church to give 10%. Neither uh, Paul, Peter or Jesus, uh, the heavyweights of the New Testament, um, none of them ask for 10% of people's wages. If you can show me those scriptures where Paul asked for tithes or, or Peter or Jesus, I'll repent of my error and I will uh, rectify it immediately. But it's not there. So this is how we give. This is how I teach the, my small congregation. And everyone I meet, I, I, I make mention to them to give and to give from your heart and to give cheerfully. And if you want uh, great blessings, give bountifully. But we all, all let us always remember that giving of, of finances and material goods has nothing to do with your salvation whatsoever. The Lord even said that to the rich man, didn't he? He said, the rich people in the churches uh, need to give, they store their treasure in heaven and not on earth. Because if you've got a lot of treasure stored up on earth, um, you can't take it with you. <laughs> so you need to store that in heaven by distributing it uh, appropriately. But it has nothing to do with our salvation, uh, no matter what we give. Verse 6. 2 Corinthians 9, 6. But this I say, this is Paul speaking, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, not even of necessity. But you have to have it in your heart. You know, there, there might be a need somewhere and... and and you just give to it because it, there's a need. Now you must have you must have that in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver, not grudgingly or of necessity. But uh, God wants us to give in love. God wants to give us to give from the heart. God, God doesn't want to have ministers. 
telling you and telling you and telling you to give. It's a loving thing to give. It, 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 it's a great thing to give. It's a, a godly thing to give. It's a Jesus thing, you know. God gave his son. We can't beat that. So let me say that um, tithing is not for the New Testament. You're not obligated to tithe and give 10% of your earnings. You, you give from your heart and, and you give what you want. Um, we're not obligated to give what anyone says, but we give from the heart. And I, my belief is uh, the, the more closer we walk with Jesus daily, we just want to give everything away. But I, I don't want people thinking that giving material or financial goods has anything to do with salvation. That, that's Roman Catholicism. And uh, it, it's not uh, the teaching of Jesus. So just take note of that and check the scripture for yourself. Read it over. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 and 7. Now, my last message was about uh, salvation and the blessing of the Lord. And this message about giving. Give from your heart. Do everything from your heart to the glory of Jesus. And I'll see you again on the next message. And we'll see just what little gems we can uh, put in your treasury. Amen? You have a great day. And uh, let the Lord lead. God bless you.